Let me guess. You want a dope crib, money, girls, and cars. Then that will make you. What if you get those things and you live with the contentment of having those things for the next 30 years and then you die without a trace of who you were on this earth? That's about 10 grand cash. That's my beautiful girlfriend. Well, X. And this is a new Range Rover Sport. Red guts. This shit is ruthless. I'm showing you my life because all of this almost got stuck on hard drives and camera rolls. The stories that I'm sharing that authentically shows me. For anyone that watches me, you almost would have never seen. Let me tell you one of the most important things that I learned in life. As I show off wearing two necklaces and putting 10K in a safe and staying at the Roosevelt. Whoa. Whoa. At the Roosevelt, you already know what time it is. What I learned is none of that shit matters. Now let me explain. Now we have everything for we all drink. Ugh. Authentically me is not one thing. I'm not only about enjoying the luxuries of life. It's a big job. Yes, sir. Hey, man, like oh this shit better than Louis. Oh like, God. quit playing. This bossy ass shit. Come no on, cap. man. Look. Man, yeah. Yeah, this is real street art. This is real so Oh, yes, boy. sir. Straight here. Come on, man. Or just supporting kids. How has the investment helped Miguel get, you know, get better in these three months? or just an entrepreneur building a company, or just being a father. I'm all of that and more. And I know black men get bunched into whatever experience one has had with other black men. That's why it's always been so important for me to tell my own story and document it all. It's so crazy that the majority of we all have dreams. The story of Project Swag was shot on this camera right here. Excited, like only thing is, I even wish my kids was here with me doing this. This is how they come. This joint's gonna go crazy. People are luddies. Come on, man. Pack. brain the ideas that God gives me to real life You may be asking why the All Dreams logo is an elephant named Lee. The reason why is the stories that we tell. They're big. They're all around us. But we are being overlooked. Yo, yo. <clears throat> what's good? What's good? What's good? So, again, this is still the same day. We just got the patches in. Um, today, um, this is my outfit. So I'm getting ready to go to a meeting with T.I. You know, hopefully everything goes well and the energy is right and um, we can take this All Dreams thing to a whole nother level. But either way it goes, All Dreams is going to be great, but this could propel us to another level faster than um, doing it by ourselves. 
Let me take you back to 2013. This shit looks sick, dude. This shit is ready. Yo, this shit ready for the store, yo. In August 2016, the death of my father showed me that most people will die and be forgotten. The only thing I had of him was a couple videos and a couple pictures. This one video of him putting on a shirt I designed inspired by a kid battling cancer named Julio was also an example. Oh, look. Oh, that looks good. Got him with some swag. Oh. <laughs> 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 in my own journey, I met Julio and gave him the very same shirt my dad was wearing. I got something for you. I heard like the Yankees and everything. It's a Yankee shirt. It's a Yankee shirt? You got your name on it. I want a Yankee flag. Yeah, my Yankee flag. <laughs> say oh, I'm going to take it's my name off. Julio. <laughs> and after meeting Julio, I sent his mom, Melissa, a camera to document him getting a bone marrow transplant. Okay, good morning. So, today is the day Julio goes into the hospital. Um, this has been a really long journey for us. I watched the videos and I seen Julio's mother telling their story authentically. I have a stapler here, Julio, and it's late. We gotta wait for the people to come to work in the morning. Do you have to give me any night checkups? You might have one more night checkup today, but only your temperature and your blood pressure. Why? Whenever SpongeBob sees what? Whenever SpongeBob sees what, he prefers to cluck like a chicken. Ah, this is a chicken cluck. In 2015, Julio passed away after a long battle with cancer. He was only seven. So today is Thursday. Here at home, getting ready to travel to, to New York. It's the camera bag. Got a bunch of camera equipment in this bag right here. The camera bag will go in there. Um, and then <clears throat> we have merch for the photo shoot. Today is a very special day because this is the last day of filming We All Have Dreams movie. Yeah, the filming session will be with Julio's mom, Melissa, at her home. She's on the way to the airport right now. Headed to NYC. Remember the story of why the elephant? Because our stories are the elephant in the room. They are all around us, but we are being overlooked. My father was a Vietnam veteran and struggled his entire life of that experience of being drafted at 19 years old and fighting a war as a teenager. He never had a chance to pursue his dream. He was forgotten by the world and he didn't tell his story. Julio will never be forgotten. His memories are filmed and his story is still being told. My question to you, will you miss the opportunity to authentically tell your story? Because if you don't tell your story, you will die and be forgotten. Nothing else 
really matters. Not how much money you obtain, not how many things you have. The only thing that matters is your big, unique story. So pick up a camera and start to tell your story. And while you're doing that, make a positive impact on this world. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Ha, ha, ha.